Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining me. I'm Cheryl and this is Your Journey Yoga. Today we are going to do some Pilates, some mat Pilates. So yoga and um, Pilates are actually kind of very closely related um, and feed off of each other amazingly well. So strength and stability all starts in the core. Absolutely yes, for balancing, for gait, for posture, um, just how strong we are, um, how, how well our body functions. It all starts with a strong core, you guys. So such an important piece of our well-being to spend some time really focusing on gaining strength and stability in our midsection, our core, our powerhouse, um, as uh, a lot of people call it in the Pilates community. So just really being mindful of the belly, the midsection, everything from the base of the pelvis to the top of the rib cage, um, just being mindful and being uh, able to combine movements and breath and really feeling the power of the two combined and what that does. So without further ado, my friends, make sure that you have some water handy if you need to, if you do need to stop, if you want to take a break, if something's not feeling fabulous, whatever it is, you guys just take care of yourselves and join me for as much or as little as you like. I am always honored to have you on this journey with me. I hope you'll take a second and subscribe either now or before you uh, check off uh, of the computer. So I appreciate you. Thank you very much. So today we're going to start and we're going to take that left leg and we're going to take it kind of off to the side. Just a really nice little stretch for the knees, for the hips. If having that left knee bent is not great for you, the option is to have that leg still long. Okay, so you take care of yourself and we're just going to take it up and over. We're going to go from right side to left side and we're just going to wake up our bodies. So this is very gentle. Nothing crazy, just want it to feel good. And I want you to move with your breath. So we inhale as we come up and then we exhale as we sink a little deeper. And if you find that your breath timing doesn't match mine, you guys, it's okay. Really the biggest thing is make sure that you're breathing, okay? We're staying strong, we're staying tall through the crown of the head. Let's do one more each side. And then we're gonna come back up. We're going to turn and we're going to take that left hand to the top of that right knee, sit up as tall as you can sit, and then just gently add that rotation, stretching for the back. Oh, for those hips, hip flexors. And then gently release that rotation. We're going to switch sides. And again, if you need to keep that right leg out long, yep, you just keep it out nice and long. Otherwise, let's just take it up and over, reaching it, going from side to side. Moving with the pace of the breath. Remember, it's that inhale as we come up and it's that exhale as you sink deeper into that stretch. Mm, this should just feel really good, you guys. Great mobility for the spine, that lateral flexion on each side. Nice little mobility through those hips. Breathe. Let's do one more. And we come up. And we're going to take that right hand up and over out oh, to that left thigh and just gently pull ourselves around, turning and taking your gaze just a little bit beyond that back shoulder, that left shoulder. Just checking in. And gently releasing that rotation. Let's sweep those feet around and we're going to come over onto our side. We're going to come to clam pose okay so our clam we can be up on our forearm what i want you to really be mindful of is that elbow is right below the shoulder or staying down so if we are up we have this tendency to kind of sink into our shoulder that is not great for our shoulder or the ability to stay strong through the core so staying up or coming all the way down okay so if you're going to come down resting your ear right along the inside or um of your arm and we're going to have those knees pulled in slightly in steps of our feet together and we're going to open and close the legs now as we open and close that top leg lifting we want to be mindful that that top hip does not roll back also so that we keep those hips stacked and breathe the soles of the feet maybe come closer together but they don't necessarily touch just the arch of the foot stays close and we open and close getting into that top hip so you should really start to feel this in the hip in that glute med you should stay strong through the belly this the belly is what's going to keep those hips stable 
So every time we work, even when we're working our legs, we're still working that core. We've got three more. Breathe. Awesome job. Now we're gonna extend those legs. Feet are gonna come forward just slightly, so we're in a slight pike position, and we're gonna draw that top leg in and up, and then extend it to the sky, and lower it down. Pull it in and up. Extend it out, and lower it down. So we're pointing those toes, and we're just drawing those toes right up along the inner thigh, getting that extension the best we can. Breathe. So guys, if yours is a lot smaller, it's absolutely fine. Okay, it's about you and it's about your journey and your body. We want to be mindful of our body positioning. So keeping those hips stacked, let's do two more. Lengthening through those toes and keeping that belly strong. Last one. Ah, beautiful job. Pull that right knee in and then roll it open. So that top leg comes in, maybe it wasn't your right leg. So pull that top leg in and then just open to the sky. Just getting that really nice stretch for your hip. Great, so if I ever give you a cue and you're like, oh my gosh, I'm not on my right side, I gotta switch. No, it's okay, because we're gonna do the other side too. So just know. Breathe. So go ahead and come back up onto your side and we're gonna switch sides. So I'm gonna flip over this way. You can just roll over if you want, if you don't necessarily need to see me. So again, we're gonna have those knees bent. We're gonna be up on the elbow with that elbow right underneath the shoulder and we're lifting out of that shoulder or we're coming on down. And that ear is resting right along the arm. That top arm is there for support, but again, it's about your core, right? That's going to keep those hips steady so we're not rocking back and opening those hips. Okay, that actually felt kind of good massaging my hip. And we're going to open and close. So our clam pose, guys, this is a great exercise for your pelvic floor. Really squeezing if you are familiar with those kegel exercises so stopping that flow of urine guys male or female right the sensation of stopping that flow that's what i want to encourage in that lower abdominal region okay so that pelvic floor breathe and again arches of the feet are staying close not necessarily rolling all the way to the point where the soles of the feet come together but just opening up those knees and if ever you're feeling like yeah these are pretty easy you can always use a resistance band around kind of just above your knees to add a little extra something something okay so the amazing exercise working and targeting everything from your waist down we got three more and last one nice job now we're going to extend those legs again a little bit of a pike position and we're going to point those toes our hips are remaining stacked and we're still using those core muscles to stabilize we're going to pull that top leg up and extend and then slowly lower it down reaching out through those toes pull it up extend it out and slowly lower it down so we have this tendency to want to rock back onto that bottom hip or that meaty part of your um, bum if you will so just be mindful that you're staying keeping those hips stacked and we're just opening up that leg getting that great stretch through the groin through the inner thigh activating all those muscles in the hip in the leg lengthening through those toes and just finding that breath inhale pulling it in extend and exhale down let's go three more and then we get that amazing stretch. Pull it in. Yes, last one. Beautiful, you guys. And pull that knee in. Top knee comes in and then we just roll it over. Ah, that opposite hand, the one that you were laying on, just gently resting on the knee. Great stretch for the hip. Wonderful mobility through the spine little massage for all those digestive organs. So good for wringing out negative energy. Now releasing that hand and we're just gonna roll over onto our backs. So centering yourself onto your mat if you happen to be on your mat and we're gonna draw the knees in towards the chest. 
Mm, I just want you to lift the upper body if that feels okay on the neck. If we're taking care of the neck, guys, and lifting that head off, just don't worry about it. Keep it down if it's not right. Breathe. Now we're going to reach down with those fingertips down towards your feet. Now we're going to extend the arms overhead and extend that right leg. If you need to put those arms down, yes, go ahead and then pull it back to that tuck. Left leg, both arms. And bring it back. Right leg, both arms. And bring it back. Keeping that belly button drawn in. Find your breath. Now, like I say, we can have the upper body down and you can just be moving those arms. That is absolutely fantastic. Maybe you're reaching your feet a little bit higher. Absolutely fantastic. You know why? Because we're moving. We're breathing. We're celebrating everything that we can do. Let's do one more each side. We've got mobility in the shoulders, the hips, strengthen the core, pull those knees in and gently release it down. Extend those arms out to a T, pull the knees out and away from you just a bit, kind of creating a 90 degree bend. And we're gonna slowly lower both knees to the left as low as you can go without releasing them all the way down. And then we're gonna come back up through center. And then we're gonna take it to the right, almost all the way down, as low as you can go without releasing all the way down and come back to center. Now maybe you can start to extend those legs. We can extend them a little or we can extend them a lot. I'm gonna turn this way because I'll run into the chest. So you can take them down as low as feels right to you and then bring them back up. So the knees can be bent to 90 degrees or extended all the way out. It's about what's right for you. And as we alternate side to side, we're checking in. I want you to notice how much you're pushing through your hands. Are you t pushing a ton through your hands or your arms to help those legs come back up? If that's the case, I want you to challenge yourself and bend your knees a little bit more and see if you can lift your fingertips towards the sky. So as we work to not use those arms or those hands, we really fire up those obliques. Let's do one more each side. Coming back to center. Draw the knees in. Rock side to side. Nice big deep breaths, guys. And we come back to center. Once again, we're going to lift that upper body if it feels right to you. Breathe. We're going to extend that right leg and we're going to hold on to that right leg. Now that left foot, we can bring it to the ground or we can extend it out or the knee can be bent. So we've got lots of options here. Foot down, knee bent, leg long. We're going to do two tugs and pull. Switch. Two tugs and pull. Switch. So we're scissoring our legs and we're pulling in two tugs two tugs. We're pointing those toes to activate the legs. Breathe. So anytime we have flexed feet or pointed feet, we're activating those legs in a different way. So right now we're going to point and soon we're going to flex. So keeping that upper body up as much as feels right to you, drawing that belly button in and up. We're going to do one more each side and then we're going to flex those feet. Now that might mean that you need to bend your knees because all of a sudden, oh my gosh, hello hamstrings and calves. So as you're pressing through those heels, hello back of the leg. Breathe, making sure you're breathing. Keeping sure that belly button is drawn in and down and making sure you're taking care of that neck, guys. If you need to bring the head down, bring it down. This is just activating more through that upper abdominal area and that rectus abdominis. Breathe. Almost there. You're like, come on, I've already done my scissors. Let's do one more each side. And pull those knees in, release. Uh, interlace your fingers and let your arms just rest. Let them be heavy. And then we're gonna turn and take our gaze uh, out over that right shoulder and just relax your head. Letting go of any tension that may have accumulated in that neck. And then gently bring it back to center. 
Let those head, the shoulders be heavy. And then gently take your gaze out over that left shoulder. Just let your head be heavy, guys. Let it turn as much or as little as it likes. And then bring your gaze back to center. Extend those arms out to a T. And we're going to lower those feet down, opening up your feet about the width of your mat. And we're going to rock the knees from right to left. Slow and steady. So as we rock those knees, we're taking our time and getting a nice little stretch. So this is mobility through the hips and through that lower back. But we're also firing up those obliques and those transverse abdominis to get those knees up and over. So we've got some great mobility going on. We've got some good strength going on. It's gentle, not too intense, making sure that the back is happy. Good, and one more to the left. And let's come back to center. Drawing the knees in towards the chest. A little tight squeeze. Bringing the hands behind your thighs. Rock yourself up. We rock back to the point where we can lift those legs. Lifting the feet off, we come to boat pose. Supporting behind those thighs or extending those arms out. Breathe. Let's bring the knees to touch and flex those feet. We press that left foot straight out and pull it in. Right leg straight out and pull it in all the while keeping that belly button drawn in left leg out press through your heel draw it in right leg out and draw it in left and in right and in let's do two more left in and then right and then one more each side so keeping that belly button drawn in guys pressing through that heel Breathe. And let's round it over, butterfly. Always making sure we take care of that back, guys. Whenever you need a release, take a release. Starting at that tailbone, slowly roll it up. Till we sit up nice and tall. And let's come over. We're going to come up to all fours, okay? This is a good one. This is a fantastic one. This is one of my favorites, but it is very challenging, Jeff, just FYI. So we're gonna extend left leg out, right hand underneath us, and we're gonna roll to the side. So a very modified side plank as you extend that left arm to the sky. So what I want you to feel is your body weight distributed fairly evenly between your knee, that right knee, that bottom knee, and your right hand. So this left leg is free to move, okay? There's a key, okay? so. 50% on the hand, 50% on the knee. Core is strong, hips are stacked. We're gonna lift that left leg and flex your foot. Two kicks forward, two kicks back. So we're doing our very best to keep that leg from dropping through center. We wanna draw a horizontal line. Two kicks forward, two kicks back. Two kicks forward, two kicks back. Good. Almost there. Keep reaching through that top arm. Last one forward and back. We're gonna bring it back through to center and we're gonna point the toes. Two kicks forward, two kicks back. And again, we're minimizing the movement through the rest of the body. This is just that left leg moving. So we're not swinging to the point where our bottom is going back and forth. Our shoulders are going back and forth. We are solid through the upper body. And breathe in your neck. You can look down, you can look straight ahead. Two more. Last one, let's bring it back to center and we're gonna go up and down. Little, doesn't have to be big. Almost there, and back to center, little circles. And switch, this is about when you're like, oh my goodness, are you serious? How much more do we have to do? Holy guacamole. Almost there. And hold. Flex your foot. Press through your heel. Oh, three, two, 
and one. Oh, really sit down. Reach to the right, press your hips to the left. If that was your left leg, you were working. Opposite if it was your right. Mmm, breathe. I haven't done those in a while. Got a little bit of a fire going on in the hip. That's a good thing. And then lift just slightly, just for good measure. Take it to the other side. Mmm, so nice. Good work, you guys. Good news, bad news. We have another side. So let's come back up to center. And again, find that tabletop. So we're facing the other direction. And we're going to slide that right leg back. And we're going to roll over. And now that right arm is extending to the sky. So again, 50% of the weight. So we want to make sure that the knee and the hip are stacked and the wrist and the um, shoulder are stacked. Right arm is extended to the sky. We're going to lift that top leg, that right leg. Flex your foot. Two kicks forward, two kicks back. And we really want to minimize the movement in the upper body. So we're not just flailing, right? We're moving that right leg intentionally. We're staying strong out of the shoulder. We're staying lifted out of the hip joint, and we're keeping that leg from drooping in the center. Two and one, back to center. Point those toes. Two kicks forward, two kicks back. Breathe. If you can smile, smile. If you're like, oh my goodness, who thought of this? Just smile, just smile. Breathe two and one and back to center up and down you're doing awesome smile good little circles doesn't matter which direction minimize that movement stay strong through the belly three two one switch And hold, flex your foot, press through that heel. Shaky's good, you guys, oh my goodness, yes. And release it down. Oh, press your hips to the right, reach through those right fingertips. Again, if you were working your left, then yes, you'll press your hip out to the left and reach through your left fingertips. Who's super grateful we only have two legs? <laughs> those are intense, but they're so good. And let's walk it through, switch sides. Breathe. And walk it through back to center. Child's pose, just because it feels good. And let's walk those hands up. So we're gonna come up to a kneeling position. If you need a little extra cushion, pull your mat back in and on itself so that you kind of have a triple layer, if you will. These feel good. All well, we're gonna be up. Okay, so I want you to visualize a wall, okay, a pole, and your body is on that pole. So as you lean back, we go as one unit rather than sitting back, okay? So options for your arms. You can have the arms extended. This is a great counterweight. If you wanna add additional weight, you're gonna cross your arms over your chest. So again, don't let your bum be too heavy. Keep that belly button drawn in and lean back and then come forward. So you also want to be mindful that you're not arching your back. So we don't want to all of a sudden be arching back like we're coming to camel pose. Nice flat back, like plank. And then come on back up. So if your bum is heavy or your head is heavy, minimize that, okay? So use that counterweight if you feel like your head's too heavy. Keep reaching, keep drawing that belly button in. You should feel this amazing strength in those quads, hip flexors and core. Your glutes working too, both of them. <laughs> Breathe. Let's do one more. And come on back up. Hands just below those shoulders to tabletop. Core is strong, we're gonna take a big breath in. We're gonna extend left arm and right leg, square those hips, lift out of the shoulder, lengthen through the fingertips. Take a big breath in and draw the elbow and knee in. Exhale and extend it out. Inhale, draw it in. Exhale and extend it out. Inhale, draw it in. 
extend it out in extend it out we've got four more breathe moving with your breath last one and release it down and inhale it up this time as you exhale pull it in inhale extend it out pull it in and reach it out so we're really firing up drawing that belly button in and out we're strengthening through the through the shoulders we're activating the glutes and the hamstrings we are working those transverse and that rectus abdominis you guys this is such a good one so you can alternate these two if ever they seem to you know irritate your lower back or if just being on one side for too long last one isn't great for whatever reason just alternate them so let's do that for four inhale left arm right leg pull it in extend it out release it down right side left leg inhale exhale pull it in inhale reach it out and release it down one more each side inhale reach pull it in extend it out bring it down last one inhale reach pull it in extend it out bring it down and sit it back to child's pose nice work breathe extending those arms out nice and long we're gonna inhale up to a modified high plank shoulders right over those fingertips breathe we're going to open up that left foot out to the side. Right leg extends down. We come to a modified plank. So we can remain here. If you like, you can extend those legs long. Feet can be staggered or stacked, and we're going to reach. And then as you exhale, that right hand comes down across the chest, reaching slightly behind and through. And then unwind it and reach to the sky. We've got five of these on each side, my friends. Breathe slow and steady we've got two more beautiful job staying strong through that left shoulder strong through the core you feel those obliques yeah that lower oblique oh baby beautiful and release it down and we're gonna roll it to the other side so that right knee can be down or those legs can be long, feet can be staggered or stacked. We reach through those left fingertips. And as you exhale, that left hand comes down across the chest, reaching slightly behind and through, and then unwind it and extend to the sky. So mindful of our movements, those fullest, biggest rotations that we can create working through the instability because yep those core muscles are what are gonna help keep us steady these are our thread the needles and we've got one more finish strong all the way at the top and release it down coming to plank breathe hold your plank find your breath now we're gonna do our best to keep our back from arching so if we need to lift the bum a little bit lift the bum a little bit if you need to bring the knees down bring the knees down we're gonna lift one leg and pull it in lift the other leg and pull it in lift the leg pull it in other leg pull it in now you can choose to flex your feet you can point your toes what I want really want you to be mindful of is that you're not arching your back that those the pelvis the front of the pelvis is not pressing towards the ground we're keeping that plank position we're staying strong last one each side and lift those hips to down dog find your breath breathe we turn those fingertips towards one another heels of the hands come out so a little bit of a pigeon toed stance with our hands we're in a down dog position just a shift of our hands we're going to inhale bending the elbows lowering the crown of the head and then pressing it back up 
Inhale, bend the elbows. And exhale, extend them. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. Breathe. Anytime you need a break, you take one. Anytime you want to make that movement a little smaller, that's a great modification. We've got four more. Breathe. Firing up those lats, those shoulders, getting a great stretch on the backs of the legs. We've got one more. Turn your fingertips back to face front. Press through the palms of the hands. Ha, ah, down dog. And let's inhale it to high plank. Now from the toes or the knees, as slow as you can go, crocodile down. Breathe. Take your time. Press it through up dog. And open up those knees, press it back to extended child's pose. Mm, take a moment, plant your forearms, your elbows, and just roll those wrists. That was a lot of stuff for the wrists. Just stretch them out. And then let's walk those hands up. So we're going to bring that right foot behind, left foot in front. So where we kind of started here, those nice little stretches. So hopefully you've gotten a lot warmer and your body is ready and for a little bit more of um, mobility. Okay, so if we're taking care of the knees, this is not gonna be the very best for you. It's gonna be a great challenge. But what I want you to do, if the leg is long, is just lift that leg, okay? So you're just gonna lift it up and down, okay? And if you like, you can kind of take it up and over if you wanna add that mobility factor too, or just that strength. So those of us with that foot behind, I want you to work to stay up. If you need your hands, use your hands. We're gonna do our best to just have our hands in front of us. You can have them at heart center. You can do whatever you need to do just to keep them off the ground as best you can. So we're gonna work that right leg. You're gonna have to send a message and it might take a second for your body to respond because we're gonna lift that right leg and we're gonna bring it up and over and tap. Bring it back to that Z. Take it up and over and tap. Now you might not reach kind of the outside edge of that knee. Maybe you come to the foot and take it back up and over. So as much as you can, as big as you can make it. So really focusing on that core, because do you notice that? All that act activity, that action that's happening, and then through that hip. Beautiful, you guys. So again, kind of wherever you need those hands to be, you can put them on top of your head if you want. Just do your best not to use the ground. Last one. And up and back. Now, let's switch sides. Bring it up, switch your feet, and sit it down. Breathe. All right, so readjust however you need to. And again, if that leg is long, we're going to do our best to sit up nice and tall, and we're just going to lift that leg. And if you like, yep, we're going to take it up and over. Just with that leg long, you're just not going to sweep it around behind, okay? All right, my friends. So different, different side. Your body's going to be like, what are you asking me to do? So give it just a second. And when you're ready, we take that leg up and over. You might notice, wow, this side's a little bit easier. Is it the range of motion that's easier? Or did your brain just kind of wrap what it's doing? It gets it a little bit better. I was going to say wrap your mind around it, but it's your mind wrapping your mind around it. So, yeah, I suppose that's a thing. And again, you can have your hands on your head. Just do your best to keep those hands off the ground. You can have them at heart center. Breathe. Can you feel? Can you feel that? Feels amazing. I love it. I love it when I get to wake up my core and really challenge it. Last one. Breathe. And take it back. Sit up nice and tall. Nice job, you guys. And let's crisscross those legs. Ah, uh, you did it. That was amazing. Just a couple good stretches, guys. Inhale, reach to the sky. We did so much work for those obliques. Release that right hand down. Left arm up and over. Uh, just checking in. Exhale, release the tummy and chest to your thigh. Breathe. Once again, open that chest, reaching out to the side. And rise, both arms come up. Exhale, left hand down, right arm up and over. 
Oh, and as you exhale, release the tummy and chest down. Reach it out. Open it on up and reach to the sky. Both arms come up. Exhale, release your hands down by your side. Sit up nice and tall. And as you exhale, release your chin down. Inhale, head up nice and tall. And as you exhale, lean your head to the right. Inhale it up tall. And exhale, lean it to the left. Inhaling it up nice and tall. Reach to the sky. Exhale, lengthen, hinge it forward. One little tap down. Circle the hands back by your hips. Lengthen and reach all the way back up. And pull those hands to heart center. You guys are amazing. So fun. Thank you for being here today. I hope you thought it was fun. I hope you thought it was challenging. I hope you got a great workout. And I hope you just have an amazing rest of your day, whatever's left of it. But thank you for joining me. If you would, subscribe. Be so grateful. Grateful for you guys always. Um, but thank you. Take care of yourselves. And until the next time, my friends, namaste.